It's your guys' big debut on the channel. No. <laughs> Rob and Linda and Sarah. Owen and Drew, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Joe's out there somewhere. There's Sadie. Claire's not here. She's with Grandma. Anyhow, you guys, we're at home. We got a massive chunk of swordfish right there. It's probably like 15 pounds of swordfish right there. We got lobster. It's almost end of lobster season, but they caught a few today. They caught a few yesterday. Rob and these guys caught like 15 yesterday. We're on it. Um, we're going to eat a few lobsters. We're going to eat some steak on the grill. We're doing bacon wrap swordfish. And we just got a new rub here. Is there anything rub? We're going to do a couple swordfish steaks and try that out. So we're about to have a feast here in Amrata. But first, I want to take you guys back to catching that big old swordfish out there, Jeremy and his crew. So we're going to take you back to that day and uh, enjoy it. Karen, you're on camera. First bite of the day. No swordfish bites yet. About lunchtime. We have a skipjack on. The fighter. Where's the swordfish at? Somewhere right down there. Get ready to bite. Ocean. Right. Not in the boat. We know that. See what happens. 145. Our first bite of the day. Took about 10, 15 minutes. Finally came back, got him on. Fingers crossed he stays. We could use a swordfish. 1448 on the sim rad here. Let's see if we can't get one today. It's supposed to be five to ten knots by now, but it ain't five or ten knots of wind. But it's better than it was earlier. It's probably 12 to 15 knots but better than 15 to 20 knots like it was this morning. So, stay tuned, we'll see what happens. I don't think it really knows what's going on. It's a decent sized shadow. Yeah, I know, it's a decent fish. There's a ball or... Is there? Yeah, right there. This is a big fish here, this is a nice fish. Yeah, I know. This is a good one, yeah, there's another fish following yeah, me, guys. This is a good sword yeah. here. Oh, I want to dart that one. Look at that, this is a good fish here. Hold that. Yep. It's a lot bigger than it's We're good, we're good. Fish followed him up, but that's just a nice one. He's 200 plus. Is he snagged or something? Thank you. 
Big fish, too hard. I think he's 250. Um, didn't really fight all that hard. You know, 40, 40 minutes, maybe 35 minutes, and got the harpoon. And I got one gaff, and got a second gaff, and I'm spun off, twisted off, going nuts, going ballistic by the boat there. Took about 400 feet of rope down on the harpoon line, but we got him come up now. Hopefully, we'll get him here. We don't want to lose him after all this. I don't think I get twisting that rope now. We have a uh, amount of time to stretch it out and put it in the basket. But hopefully, it stays. It's taking us in shallow. 1346. Yeah. So if it goes down as deep as he can go, it's 1346 in here, unless he goes back offshore. It's a wild one. Like 400 in that one? Was there? Probably, yeah. Take number two, guys. Take two. Fishing all day for this shot. She's surfacing. She's rising. Oh, yeah. Got him in like just above the eye socket. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, did he get you? Oh yeah. Oh boy. You got a barber. We got a bleeder. You got a barber. Oh boy. I hope they didn't break your finger. That was my surgery finger. Oh boy. We got gel coat damage here. Scott, we got a warranty claim. The harpoon chipped the gel coat. Right there. It's out of your pay. <laughs> out of my pay. I'll take it out of Stewie's. I was the one that did. Three years in a row, we got big fish in March, right? Three years in a row. Three years in a row, we've got big fish with Jeremy. Third big one in March for me. That's his third big one in March there. You know, we were dropping to eight this morning. We didn't get a bite to like 145. Almost six hours at a bite. I didn't think we were going to get a bite today. We got a bite on this rod. It took a while, got him on there. Mike had a bite on the back rod to get that bait off there, but uh, that's all it takes. You never know when it's coming. Everyone's going to be returned. That was an exciting one. VMC guys, we got it done. That's all it took. That's a nice fish, you guys. We got girth. So you guys check this out. That's a cookie cutter mark. A cookie cutter shark bit that and it was twi twisted off in like a perfect circle. cookie cutter. Interesting. That shark will bite onto those fish and sometimes you catch mahi with them, tuna with them, swordfish when they bite on there and they just rip them out but no doubt in my mind that's a cookie cutter shark there. Biting that big old swordfish. 
But now we'll be biting them. We'll be eating them good. Time to get going. We don't know if it was superstition, but he put the pliers on and we got a bite. I never fished without him. It's only about a 40 minute ride home, so we just laid the fish on the deck. If we were out there for a few hours, definitely want to ice them, but uh, quick run in. So, uh, saving our backs to put them in the bag there just for you know, 40 minutes. But now we gotta get the fish over there to scale, yeah, go see how much it weighs, and hopefully we got some volunteers here. Because we need help to get this thing off here. We need Dawson to help. Oh, yeah. I had to go swimming this morning. The anchor came off the shackle, right to the bottom. I had to jump in. This ain't even my fish. Where's the heart? So I'm up. Jupiter, right? Yeah. Did you, did you go with Dave today? Yeah. They went with Dave today. Just bought some Stan Spam merch. Yeah, and did? Just bought the merch. All right, good. We're getting you out of that and this stuff. Oh, He's yeah. got it right there. You're going to go put it on. Go My put, oldest put charter from 1989. Go, go put you back from on. From 1989? You fished with Dave since 1989. Yeah. Really? Did they catch him or not? Oh, six, we, yeah. we caught them six hours on 50. Holy smokes. They've been fishing with Dave since 1989. That's a long time. I need, a, I need some, some What size are you now? You got a little... I'm uh, between a large and an XL. I'm large. a tweener. They're What's large. the hole in from? That's what I got. Oh, there you go. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. There you go. Supporting the cause here. <laughs> we put them under pressure. There you go. Uh, Let's take a picture. So, just we got to go inside the boat. Yeah, yeah, but I would let them down first and then I'm tired. I've been waiting all day on you guys. Hey. You gotta make a cameo on the video, buddy. How you doing there? How are you? Good. He's been watching the videos I heard. What's your name? Parker. Parker, where are you from? Florida. From Florida, what part? Like, I forgot. You forgot? <laughs> he forgot, but we've been waiting here to see him. Lake. Oh, yeah? I like your shirt, buddy. Thanks. What's on the back? I'm a swordfish? Is that right? Oh, yeah. oh, my God, we got a big swordfish today. Well, it's good oh, to meet you. Oh, yeah, look at that. All right, you guys, we're gonna get filleting here in a second. We got a lot of fish to fillet. We got low battery on the GoPro. You can see the cookie cutter mark though. That's pretty cool, you don't see that all the time, but the cookie cutter bite it, they twist, they rip it up like a perfect circle. I've never seen a cookie cutter shark, but they're pretty uh, neat creatures. Just a normal color fish, just kind of white meat. Was hoping for a pumpkin, but not a pumpkin. Let's see, we're gonna split this thing here. He's big, 327 pounder. Got our workout in pulling him in the boat. Dawson was supposed to be there, but he didn't show up. 
And that's not true. Dawson wanted to be there, but Mike didn't want to give up the day. So yeah. Mike went, but fish is still cold actually too from that cold deep water. So that's good too. If you was going to be out, you know, for a couple hours, definitely ice them down. But if you're just going to be a short time, you can let them lay there on the deck. There you guys go. That's prime. We got more filleting to do. We'll see you back at home though. Great time with uh, all those guys in the boat. I'm out of breath. So we're gonna keep cleaning before the battery dies. So we'll see you back there. We got 12% battery left. It's gonna die any second, but we're cleaning them here. And I can see silver in here, so I know there's some fish in his stomach. There's the harpoon tip. That was in his stomach too. So let's check who's in here. Let's see what type of fish are down there right now. Oh, man, it's true. Oh That's gosh. what they're hitting there. Still more in there. That's a weird little fish there, but I think these are all snake mackerel. So, kind of looks like the bait we're using, huh? Just a little bit smaller. A big giant fish eats fish like that. A whole bunch of them in there. A little minnow here. So, always cool to see what they're eating. We'll see you guys back at home where we're eating them too. So long, buddy. Sadie, what's she doing? To the chunks. You want somebody to play with you? I see two 16-year-old kids that could play with you. <laughs> Look in your way, guys. Entertain the kids. Sadie, ask yeah. them to play Magic Carpet. Oh my gosh. Oh, magic okay. Carpet. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Keep on going. About 100 more times. <laughs> and as you can see, the fish tank still has no fish in it, no water in it, but we're getting closer. Out of pellets or something. I know. Like the old, terrible powdered one. Rod, how's it coming? It's good. We're except we're about out of bacon, so that is that that's a negative. Can't have enough bacon. Sarah's getting the lobster ready, lobster mac and cheese, some grilled, a couple swordfish steaks are ready. We got an absolute feast going on here. We got steak here. Yeah, I started eating it a little bit already. I was hungry. The swordfish is about to go on there, but check this out. We got bacon wrapped swordfish, we got lobster, steak, we got it all. We got Mr. Rob here. Looking good. Time to go. We fished uh, a few days before that trip as well. We had Bob out there with uh, some of his friends and I actually fished sailfish tournament with Bob. I was a mate on the Real McCoy Captain George back in 2001 when we won the Chico Lodge Sailfish Tournament. I was the second mate on the boat. And I hadn't fished with him in like over 20 years, like 21 years, whatever that is. Yeah, 21 years, I think. And uh, it was pretty cool to get back out there with them. And that was the first swordfish those guys ever got. It wasn't a big one, but uh, you know, any day you get a swordfish is a great day, so. That's so, hot. That's so hot. That's so hot. That's a crispy one there. Oh, it smells so good. Ah, it's hot. That's what you had. Get him, Rob. Got it. People think triggers don't get hot. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it is hot. 500 degrees. The bean. The bean. What's up? An Astrid. Baker wrap swordfish, phenomenal. Tell us how the swordfish is good. Oh, fun. Mm. Wait, Astra hasn't had a bacon mm. wrap one yet. No? Mm. Oh, no, I would like to try one. Oh. Here, boys, that. yeah, you get oh. these down there. Wait a minute. She's like, no, I won't. Yeah. Right. Hey, you haven't even had one yet. Here, I mean, it's all right. It's like, is there any this olive? This is a big one, 327 pounder. Is there any olive morada involved here? There is olive oil on it. And then uh, the new seasonal rub from Traeger. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's okay. So it's better with bacon? Yeah. Definitely better with bacon and barbecue. Yeah. No, it's good. It's really good. Everything's better with bacon, isn't it? No, everything's better with bacon. bacon. Well, That's how I beat Jamaican Mike. Joe, that, that is how you beat Jamaican Mike. Yeah, bacon and cheese. If you guys want another uh, cook-off between Mike and Bean, let me know. Maybe we can do it. What do you think? Good? Fantastic. Is it last kind of bacon? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's, it's juicy. It's juicy. Yeah. 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 Flavorful. Swordfish is solid. It's good. 
Bacon wrapped is the best, but this is pretty good. All right, that's all we got for you guys. <laughs> Hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. Maybe check out Bean's channel if you want Bean Screen TV. Want to subscribe? Smash that like button to your finger breaks. And subscribe. If you want any merch, check out the website, stansfishing.com. Hats and shirts on there, buffs, fishing rods. Maybe some other stuff too. Okay, Sarah, do you want to say bye? She's eating. Check Sarah eating. out on the Florida oh. Insider Fishing Report. Uh, yeah. Sarah's going to be doing some fishing reports on the Florida Insider Fishing Report. So you guys tune in there and uh, you might hear her and uh, she might go up there to the studio one night too. So. All right, you guys. We'll see you later. Thanks for coming over. Thanks for eating my food. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank Actually, you. thanks for yeah. bringing the uh, key lime cake. That looks pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Try the sword fishing report back. I'm hoping it was live. Let me see that real quick. I want to get. I'm, I'm trying to invest in some mods. Come on, try let me this, see. Oh, that's try a this sick piece. Chair. We got steak. We got swordfish steak. We got lobster. And we've got the ball chair. More swordfish. And we got the yoga ball. That's this what I. That's what I get. The ball chair. We're putting the shortest person here on the shortest chair. Ah. Uh,